Hi, I'm Mary Kopsinski, the CEO of Regolytics in the middle of New York City, uh, 6th and 29th, uh, here with your update on this week's 24,415 regulatory alerts. The regulator of the week is CISA. I once got in a dispute with a friend about whether or not the cybersecurity infrastructure and security agency is technically a regulator. I call pretty much any agency a regulator just because, I don't know, it's my habit. But he, who formerly worked at CISA, made the case that it was simply an agency because it didn't pass rules. It merely issued standards and suggestions similar to NIST. But I beg to differ, friend, and you know who you are. My first piece of evidence is the emergency directive in response to a cyber threat from Russian state-sponsored actors this week. The directive requires federal agencies to analyze affected emails, reset compromised credentials, and secure privileged Azure accounts. But having said that, I see your point, because while the directive applies to federal agencies, other organizations are encouraged to contact Microsoft for guidance. But my second piece of evidence is a notice of proposed rulemaking from CISA last month. The Congressional Research Service put out a document for the members of Congress to review, outlining the rule which requires critical infrastructure companies to report material cyber breaches to CISA. If they don't, CISA can subpoena them and also stick the DOJ on them for non-compliance. But the CRS report also pointed out that this will fulfill CIS's obligation to pass a regulation on cyber incident reporting. So I rest my case, CISA is officially a regulator. The topic of the week is crypto mining. Tennessee amended its Data Centers Act to prohibit foreign controlled ownership of digital asset mining businesses. Meanwhile, Virginia passed a law that exempts any person engaging in digital asset mining from having to apply for a money transmitter license. And I will also throw it in there that the Australian Financial Regulatory Authority busted two crypto mining companies for not registering as financial institutions. What else do you need to know? I reviewed all these alerts and wrote the script while commuting in and out of New York City today. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who wins the election. If it's Trump, Trump, the states and the global environment is going to explode with regulation. And if it's Biden, it's more of the same heavy handed regulation. So get your subscription to Regolytics ASAP. It's going to make regulation easier because you can see it coming from miles away. And that's it this week for Regolytics. We have the global supply chain of the world's regulatory alerts on your phone. Call me if you need anything related to regulation.